So now to the part where I take this Tony Lazari autograph, cut autograph, that I got from Bill Hall, fame collector, and attach it to this Perez Steel postcard. First one of these I've ever done. I'm very nervous about it. I've got some opinions of some other YouTubers and guys that I've known that have done these cuts. And I'm actually going to cut the, the edge off around this autograph where it's been pasted on another one without damaging the Lazari Auto. Uh, my wife's actually going to do it because I'm left-handed and scissors don't cooperate with me. So here we go. <laughs> she said she was going to go in the other room. Probably a good thing. It'll make me nervous. Watching. But I trust her, so it'll be fine. These Perez Steel postcards are really cool. As you know, I've got the, the Babe Ruth one with a cut autograph and probably like 10 or 15 more uh, that are autographed by different guys. Most of them on card that I have. But I think it's a great way to have an image of the player with a cut autograph of guys that didn't have pack pulled autos or anything like that. Uh, Lazari was a second baseman. Uh, he's active from 1926 through 39. He was part of uh, Murder's Row in 1927 with the Yankees. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame the year that I was born, which is 1991. Uh, which was actually the year that this postcard was made as well. Uh, and his career batting average was 292, and he hit 354 in 1929. That's some of the information you can see on the back of this Perez Steel postcard. And they were limited prints, as you can see in the top left corner. This one is number 5,381 of 10,000, where Perez steel galleries which was dick perez and i don't remember the steel guy's name first name were authorized by the hall of fame to do these they're originally paintings and these are the prints that they made so oh, no, I, cut off the L. I really hope that's a joke <laughs> uh. Um, hopefully not cry when you bring that autograph back over here. She's making me anticipate this. I slipped and cut it in half. It's not going to work. Thankfully, she is just kidding. Here's the Lazari, where she removed the, the edge from the other one. Looks awesome. Thanks, babe. Now, to think about where I'm going to place it here on the postcard. I think I'm going to put it right about there, where you can still see a lot of the New York and the guy and Lozari on the postcard. So now we're going to put some of this uh, Elmer's school glue on the back. I did test it on another piece of paper to make sure none of the glue would show through it after I pasted it. Uh, to this piece of paper, my test piece. All right, here we go. So I want to make sure I get enough on here, but not too much. I would hate for any of it to show through this awesome autograph. I know some guys on blowout forums that have done this. Uh, Jared has done this with several cards. Kudos to him. It makes me really nervous. I'd rather buy them after someone else did them. All right, let's place this on the card. I don't want to press too much, like, on the autograph itself, so I'm trying to press around it. All right, and now I'm going to let it dry a little bit before I put it in its top loader so I make sure it won't come off. That's what it looks like with it attached. 
I'll give it a couple minutes to dry. Whew. How do you think it looks, Aim? Huh? Good? Okay. I'm gonna submit it off to SGC and uh, hopefully get it authenticated by their encapsulation service. And then I will have officially, hopefully, added a Tony Lazari autograph to my collection. Let's slide this in here real careful. Got it in the top loader, and I'm gonna put it in this sealed team bag. All right, now it'll be off to SGC. Hopefully, the next time you guys see this, it will be authentically slabbed by SGC with a real Tony Lazari autograph.